Well, thank you everyone for being here. It was a great day. It was great to have everyone in the room um, from different areas of Europe and the world and Africa, of course, and a very, very strong presence from Africa um, and the whole world um, was with us. Um, I, uh, yeah, I think um, we will do a very quick uh, summary of the session. We won't do a very quick summary. We, we spare the summary and you can and watch it again. Summary. Do you want No, I think we've done, I mean, okay. Yeah. I'll, well, what do you think? We, no, I think we're good. Everyone, the weather here is, is very nice and you can watch it again. Um, I will also have to because of some, uh, session parts maybe that, <laughs> that were missed to the technical difficulties. But overall, I think we had a really great day at the Maternal Mental Health in Africa conversations. I think we started having a conversation. And as I think Carolyn said, the technical issues sometimes present a problem and the conversation part, in, even though we're at the AI age and whatnot, is still difficult to have actually these, you know, how do you see someone? Why can't we see them online? Why can't we really have that conversation? That's a shame. And it would be fantastic to have more of these conversations here in Oxford at the university, my department, the Nuffield um, Department for Women's and Reproductive Health, um, would be very keen. And so we're, we're really looking to be in touch with everyone and talk. Um, but yeah, overall, maybe just to, to go through it and say, we had a, a great session on moving to scale. And we had a session on working in social determinants. We looked at what capacity, strengthening capacity is and how we need to take care of our health workers. Um, and then we had this clinic and I think also there are some points to improve, um, but we've tried it and, and we've tried to be in conversation. I think from my end, um, we would like to thank a few people also, mm -hmm. and I'll let Simone go first, but from my end, I'd like to say, um, it is really great and we have tried, but do, um, do really come back to us and also give us your feedback and tell us mm -hmm. what you think. Um, because that, that way we can also maintain the conversation. We can look at how we can have repositories together and things like that um, and keep the conversation going. But um, yes, we will say a few quick thank yous. Simon. Um, yeah, there, there are so many people who went behind organizing this day. Um, it was an extremely complex process, but it was fun and challenging. And I think... I'd particularly like to thank my team back in South Africa, the Perinatal Mental Health Project. We're located within the Alan Fisher Center for Public Mental Health at UCT. So all of our colleagues there um, were particularly supportive in allowing me to, to come and, 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 and make this um, part a very core part of my, my fellowship here. I particularly want to thank Keisha James who is an administrator from heaven, who we lucky to have at the PMHP. Keisha, I hope you're online. Um, you were the you were a kind of backbone um, from the other side of the, the planet, and we could not have done it without you. Um, from the African Oxford Initiative, uh, David Kerr was an extraordinary support. Uh, Mohammed, her son, was fantastic and stepped in when he needed to. But Chimwemwe Manyozo, I'd like us to give him a couple of um, made in his calm and, and cool and, and warm way made things happen when we thought this is not going to happen. Um, Professor William Beinhardt, an alum, alumnus of, of this college, St. Anthony's, and Professor Miles Tendy, mentioned previously from the African Studies Center here, um, enabled us to use this beautiful facility and the audiovisual um, equipment um, and, and, um, and the, the team here at St. Anthony's, the, the catering and audiovisual team. And we're very, very grateful for that gift for this to happen. I want to end off by thanking my newly made fast friend, <laughs> Nicole Vitrubo, who was, a, it was a, it, she was a fun colleague to weather, to weather the process. We kind of, um, it was great to brainstorm and um, there are other people to thank, but she is, um, I'm very lucky to have her as my collaborator and I'm very grateful, <laughs> very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. I really um, echo that sentiment. Um, yeah, so just a few quick words from me as well. I'd like to thank our conveners, Tatiana and Carolyn, 
um, because they did a great uh, session in convening things and, and working with us. And um, yeah, we've sort of, um, you know, tried to communicate as much as possible. But Tatiana, for instance, she was sick, so really, really great. She did host after all. Um, I'd like to thank all, I'm going to have to stand up because I think the sitting is not so good for me anymore after the whole day. But um, yeah, uh, the presenters, everyone who has presented, um, it was really, really great to have your contributions. And we said in the break, it was so rich and there were such really, really nice presentations with so much detail and clarity and richness, which I personally find you see rarely at mm -hmm. conferences where you have so many, you know, really good presentations. Um, and and deep deeply thinking. Um, yeah, I'd like to thank all our participants online, everyone who was online, and everyone who came here in Oxford. The weather is now really nice since this morning, and everyone stayed here, even though we don't have that many sunny days in the UK. So really appreciate it. I take that as interest in the topic. Um, and yes, um, I'd like to thank um, my department, the NAFA Department for Women's and Reproductive Health, in particular, um, our head of department, Krina, who was here this morning, Krina Zondervan, for helping us, for co-hosting and for facilitating our catering and coffee breaks and supporting us with that, which is really great. Um, and I'd like to, um, finally, I think, yeah, we've reached all thank yous now, I think, um, but really, yeah, thanks, Simon. Alien, Alien, why is it not on the list? Yes, of course. Why is it? Oh, there it is. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. <laughs> Particularly, of course, Ali and Ashley for helping with us with this. And um, to say Ali um, has been helping. So they're, they're two colleagues of mine from the department who have been helping in the background with this and helping with all the chat issues and everything. Thank you very much, Ashley, for running to shops, doing all of this. And Ali, who was with us even though um, he had the family emergency that he had to go back to now. So really appreciate his help too. Oh yeah, and then of course, everyone who helped organizing the event um, in the background. Oh yeah, um, sorry. Nothing <laughs> it's, <new> ending. <laughs> it's ending, it's ending, it's my own timer, <laughs> stop speaking. Um, yeah, I'd like to thank in my department, Lisa, Leslie and Archie who have helped us set things up in the background and then here from and St. Anthony's, who have co-hosted this for us, they've provided this amazing room for us, which we're really grateful. And we had windows and we had light and we could go out um, and that all uh, for free. Um, and we'd like to thank Dagny and the catering team from St. Anthony's and then the AV, the audiovisual team, Aaron and Priya. Um, and then, of course, yes, I'd like to thank Simone for this very inspiring uh pulling out of nowhere of this <laughs> this uh, symposium that we did. And I think we, yeah, we we had a really great time putting things together, very creative. We got to know each other very well. So like David said, it really is sort of, a, I think something that probably AFOX uh, could be beneficial. Uh, we could have written a paper, but I'm probably sure we're gonna do this in the future. When um, we recover. Yeah, when we recover. <laughs> and probably we won't uh, host another conference in this year, but who knows, maybe it's like with giving birth, the trauma might pass after a while. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but in any case, no, it was really good fun. Um, we're going out into the sun in a moment, but um, to let you know about future next steps, sort of what what is it to do? And um, we have the e-booklet coming, um, which is something that will be hopefully summarizing a lot of this, what we've discussed. It will have bios. It will have and the um, abstracts of people and contact details for everyone who wants to share them with the group so that we can really stay in touch and you can contact people that you found helpful and useful to reach out to. I definitely will reach out to a couple of people. Um, yeah, and then really um, stay in touch and, and keep things moving wherever you are in your countries, in your settings, in the challenges that you're facing. Um, keep going and um, and keep reaching out to colleagues and ask. And I, I find that was often the most helpful thing when you know there's something, I don't know, on conflict settings or on something on poverty. And then you know, oh yeah, there was this person and you write them an email. And most of the times people are so helpful and come back and say this and this and this could work. And and I think this, is, this would be really good to do more mm -hmm. together. And um, I hope to learn more from you when I reach out then. And But keep the conversations going around perinatal mental health in Africa and let's make this stronger and better uh, for mothers and children and families in Africa. Thank you very much, everyone. Mm -hmm.